Hey everyone and welcome to my IGTV video. I want to talk about something that is coming up a lot for everyone and it is this idea of what's the point? What's the point getting out of bed? What's the point going for a walk? What's the point when we're in lockdown, when everything is shut, when we can't travel, we can't do things we want to do? I get it. It's easy to go down that downward spiral into a really dark place, especially if you're someone, I guess, who is seeing things on social media or speaking about different things. And a lot of people are. There are a lot of people are, I guess, forming different opinions about what's going on in the world and there's just, I don't want to go into it because that's just another can of worms. But what I want to say today is if you are having these thoughts, like what's the point? What's the purpose? What's my meaning in life? What's my purpose? You're not alone and it is completely normal and it's actually not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing to start to question, you know, what is my purpose? What is my life? And a lot of people have been expressing their feeling, this sort of black cloud that's lingering. And even though there's things they want to do, they're just not being drawn to do it. They're not feeling motivated. They're not feeling inspired. Work is different. Life is different. I get it. We're in a really freaking weird place right now, but I'm going to have a bit of a deep talk to you. So get ready to jump down this rubber hole. So the first thing is, if you get anxious about the question, what is my purpose? Or what's the point of life? Or what's the meaning of life? It's okay. As soon as you can accept that life wasn't meant to have a meaning or have a purpose, you can be set free. Because the more the brain tries to figure these things out, the more anxiety provoking it can be. But with acceptance comes peace. And sometimes we need to accept that we don't know the answer to everything and it's not necessarily a bad thing. But the main point I wanna give you is that, yeah, sure, we can think there may not be a point What's the point getting up? What's the point exercising? What's the point doing this? But what does that look like if you live your life through that lens? Say you don't get out of bed. You don't go out and exercise. You don't look after your health. What does the alternative to doing the things you usually do look like? And I want you to reflect on that for a second. The second thing I want to explain that is it is up to us to give life meaning. It is up to us to wake up and give our day a meaning. If we don't give a day a meaning, then we feel lost. We feel unmotivated, like there is no point. I'll give you an example. So today I woke up. First hour of my day was self-care. It was go for a run, stretch, meditate, journal. Wow, I never used to have the time to do all these things. So number one, I focus on what I've, the time I've got to do and what I'm going to do with that time. Whereas before, I never had that time. We tend to focus on what's harmful or what's negative or what's unhelpful, but focus on what you, you can do with your time. Yeah, I'm not motivated. I hate every minute of running. It's so hard. But I do it because I ask myself, what's the alternative? Sure, you can stay in bed. Cool, do that. But... How is that going to make you feel long term? And not putting off self-care. If that is what you need to do, you do that. But I'm saying create meaning in your day. So the second thing is people are saying we have nothing to look forward to. We can't go anywhere. We can't travel. Believe me, I've been there. I would be in Bali right now if I could. But like I said, you need to create meaning. You need to create things to look forward to. So for example, tonight I'm cooking beef ribs. I've never cooked before. This whole week I've cooked. I have taken for granted how much I eat out and go to cafes and restaurants. But it's up to you to create purpose and meaning in your life and in your day-to-day -day as well. So I'm looking forward to making beef ribs. And having little projects to do is exciting. And despite how you feel, you have to move in the direction of valued action. So our values are what is important to us. Our values direct our decisions, our behavior, the thoughts we give. So it's important to do a values exercise and ask yourself, what is important to me? What do I value? And when you're thinking of doing something, say to myself, what direction is valued action? If you're someone who values movement and health, moving in the direction of that is going for a walk or moving your body despite how you feel. And this is why I come up with momentum over motivation. Momentum is moving in the direction of how you feel. And I'm going to end on this, right? Death is what gives life meaning. So if you're, if you want to find motivation, death is your motivator. Okay. Because you don't know with one thing, this whole uh, situation in life has taught me right now is that you don't know when your time's up. Could be three years. Could be tomorrow. Could be, next you just don't know right this is not meaning to sound depressing this is actually meant to put things into perspective so remember if you're struggling to find your meaning 
Death is what gives life meaning. And if you were going to go in three years' time, what would you do? What are your wishes? Yeah? I almost cried doing this exercise in the shower. But I was like, what are my dying wishes? And out of those dying wishes, which ones can I actually have some control over? So have a think about that. Reflect on this. I hope that was helpful. It's going to make this under five minutes, but I've gone a little bit over. But I'd love to know in the comments below, how do you give your life meaning? How do you give your day purpose? And share what you really think because I think it'll be useful for a lot of people. But have a great night. I'm going to go check on these beef ribs and I'll show you how it goes.